your integrity at stake. If you reject teaming evidence against Tunubu's Chicago State University certificates, not the call to Supreme Court. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A pro-democracy group, the National Democratic Coalition, has taken the Supreme Court of Nigeria to tax over the alleged forgery against President Bola Tinubu, bordering on his Chicago State University academic records. The group said it was closely monitoring recent developments surrounding the forgery allegations against the president, which have surfaced after being dismissed by the Presidential Elections Petition Court. This was contained in an open letter dated October 16, 2023, and signed by Lord Okwa. Okay, Okwa, please pardon me, the executive director of the group in the USA, who pinned that the Supreme Court had a major duty to uphold the principle of justice and democracy in Nigeria. According to the letter, if the Supreme Court accepts the alleged forgery evidence against President Tinubu, it would signify a victory for the Nigerian people and a re reaffirmation of the rule, the rule of law. Adding anything to the contrary would, rise, would raise concerns about the integrity of the judiciary system and the protection of the domain democratic values in Nigeria. The letter, which was obtained by Calicor's Newscom on Sunday, read in part, These allegations have once again thrust into the spotlight the critical issue of transparency, accountability, and the sanity of Nigerians' democratic process. The Presidential Election Petition Court initial dismissal of the forgery allegations as part of the suit brought by the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar may have raised questions for some about the completeness of the investigation. Nevertheless, the emergence of new evidence warrants a thorough review by the judiciary system to ensure that justice is saved. Nadiko, U.S., firmly believes that the Supreme Court of Nigerians has a solemn duty to uphold the principles of justice and democracy in Nigeria. The acceptance or rejection of the forgery evidence against President Tinubu should be guided by the law, by the rule of law, impartiality, and an unwavering commitment to the welfare and rights of the Nigerian people. President Tinubu, as the leader of the nation, should be held to the highest standards of accountability. This case is not just about one individual. It is about the credibility of Nigerian's democratic institutions and the trust of its citizens. If the Supreme Court of Nigeria accepts the forgery evidence against President Tinubu, it will signify a victory for the Nigerian people and the reaffirmation of the rule of law. It will demonstrate that no one is above the law, and justice prevails irrespective of one's position. Conversely, if the Supreme Court were to reject this demon evidence, it could also raise concerns about the integrity of the judiciary system and the protection of democratic values in Nigeria. Now the code, U.S. calls upon all relevant stakeholders, including the judiciary, the law enforcement agencies, the civil society organizations, and the international community to closely monitor this case to ensure that it proceeds with the utmost transparency and fairness. The fate of Nigerians' democracy hangs in the balance, and now the code, the U.S. remains stand first its commitment to supporting the rule of law 
accountability and the protection of democratic ideas in Nigeria. The big question is, why is the person making this allegation of Obi using his brother's certificate, not approaching the court like Atiku and others did against Tunibu? Does all your education comes down this gullibility that you can easily accept any story from face value without interrogation? The Chicago State University has cleared the president, which one is your headache? Someone who was a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the chairman appropriation, the committee, and the eight successful years as governor of the most populous and the best served reliant states of, in Nigeria, who God has sent to rescue Nigeria from economic downturn, is to you a certificate forger because you want your brother ruled a state for eight years with nothing to show for for it except that all the state allocation were diverted hmm. mm, those lousy saw losers senseless obedience the failed mandate thieves have started again they failed in their stupid all eyes on the judiciary and now they have gone to Stupid letters to the Supreme Court deemed serial failures. You fail. How did we get to this? <laughs> How did we get to this point in Nigeria? That we have we have lost our senses. We don't care about whatever happens. It doesn't matter. So this is how Nigeria has really reduced itself to that people do not really care about credibility in Nigeria. Integrity has come. It doesn't matter. Well, I don't want to talk much about this. Those are the reactions from Nigerians. The only thing I can say here is only when we will drop this tribalism and see the real thing. This is not an individual thing. You understand? We are talking about the image of this country. Me, I not get problem with who becomes Nigerian president. All we are asking for is good governance. But when you are coming, you have to come clean. You just have to come clean. The, 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 the younger world, they are watching us. Unless they just want to win Nigeria for one side. Well, Nigerians, when I don't hear waiting day, so wait till I get to talk. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.